Eiffel. London, 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 London. Eiffel. James Holder for iFilm London. I'm in the Grosvenor Park Hotel today in London for the press conference of the Matchroom Show Christmas Crack on the 8th of December. With me fighting on the bill, I've got Gavin Rees. How are we doing, Gav? Yeah, I'm doing good, thanks. We're good, we're good. Um, you're fighting John Murray. Terms and conditions approved. Still waiting on the final, final, final nod. How are you feeling about that fight? Is that the fight you wanted? Yeah, it's great. It's a fight I asked for. You know, the names of Flanagan, Crawl, I think I've gone past that stage now. The British European, I'm ready to move on. John Murray's got a world ranking. Uh, in Britain, to be honest, only him, Burns, and Mitchell, the fights I'm really interested in, and I can't see why the fights can't be made, you know? They won the fights, I won the fights, just with the promoters having certain options in there. I'm happy as a matchroom fight, and that's where I like to keep it. So let's get these fights on, and just the winner takes all, the way it should be. What do you think of John Murray as a fighter? He's a great fighter, you might make him off two bad losses, but they both against um, world rated opposition, so he's been there, he's done it. He's been British European champion too, and he's been at the top, so. Happy to have the fight. It'd be a tough fight, obviously. He's a great fighter. But I'm 32, I'm not getting no younger. I need them fights now. So let's hope they can be made. You've been in some fantastic fights. Derry Matthews, of, again, of late. Do you see the John Murray fight being another one of those big fights? Yeah, of course. It's a really tough fight. He's a tough kid. Like I say, um, when 11 rounds with Rios, a really massive punch. He showed down the weekend how good he is. And he took in 11 rounds, so it'll be a real tough fight. Maybe probably for the 12 rounds. But that's um, a test I want to give myself. I'd rather test myself than never know, you know. They, there's easier fights offered to me, but I said no. I'm ready to test myself properly now. If you beat John Murray, again, it opens up some great options for you. People are talking about maybe a match with Kevin, Kevin Mitchell on the cards or maybe even Ricky Burns. Is that something you would like? But of course, I'm lined up to fight um, the winner of Abril and... Oh, whatever they call his name, Bob, uh, <laughs> whatever, whatever you say that name. I'm proud of the winner fight that, so I didn't really need to choose a hard fight to fight Murray, but like I said, I want to test myself and prove that I'm worthy of this uh, number two ranking in the world, so win this fight and come through and be boxing for that we'll take your lean next year Eddie Owen spoke about loving having you being part of the Matchroom camp and he really likes you getting, get, being involved in on the shows what's it like working with Matchroom well it's great you know they, well, they fight when you find you when you're, ah, <laughs> you, they fight when they you say they're going to fight and snap you and busy fighting three, three four times a year and that's why every fighter wants not left on the shelf sitting about waiting wondering when they're going to fight so I'm happy it's a great um, I think Matchroom are taking over slowly they've got a great stable of boys now I'm loving boxing again. Well, Gab, I want to thank you for talking to iFilm London. We really do appreciate you coming on the channel. And are you going back to Wales today? What's the plan? Well, yeah, when everything's finished here, we'll head back on the train. Yeah. I wish you boys a safe journey. And, um, yeah, hopefully we'll catch up with you again before the fight. OK, thank you. This is James Holder with Gavin The Rock Rees for iFilm London. Thank you very much. <laughs>